Hey what's up guys, in today's video I'm going to go over some newly data mined atomic shop items or items that will be expected to release at some point in the near future in Fallout 76, similar to the previous videos in my series. As always, shout out to Bungo for finding and providing images I will be using. The link to his discord and channel for more exclusive looks on some of the data mine outfits and armors will be provided in the description and top comment below, so definitely check them out. With that being said, let's get into it. First up, we have three new headwear items. A baseball cap with goggles on them that I think is supposed to be paired with the Blue Ridge Trader outfit I'll be showing you, as well as a bandana with goggles that most likely is a part of one of the upcoming outfits I'll also be displaying. And what seems to be an eye patch. Moving on to new outfits, there wasn't too much found, but the first is the Blue Ridge Trader outfit, followed by an interesting new outfit I currently don't know the name of, but find very unique given the fact that it replaces one of your legs with a peg leg, and some green swim trunks for the summer I'd assume. They didn't forget about hooking up the ladies of the wasteland with a new outfit too, in case you desperately want to look like a banana. Moving on to camp items, we have what I'm told is a robot dog collectron. If this is in fact a Collectron, it makes me wonder once pets are added to 76 if they will be able to search for resources as well. Next up, we have the Gas Pump Distilling Station. This is nice to see as we don't have too many variants of the distilling station, so I'll definitely be getting this just to spice it up a bit. Here we have an elevator door. By the look of it, I'd assume it'll be used as a shelter entrance like the vault doors were, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Either way, it's pretty cool. Data mine show we will also be receiving some new tubed creatures to display at our camps. Shown here are the Cave Cricket, My Alert King, and Yao Guai. Now this makes me jealous. These are the Enclave Camp Turrets coming soon. Shown here are the variations of each option you can choose from when picking a turret to defend your camp. Flame, shotgun, laser, etc. As a member of the Brotherhood, I will be taking this technology away from the hands of the Enclave so they can sit pretty at my camp instead. <laughs> Another new find is the Raven Perch, bringing in the spooky vibes early. Here's how it's animated as well. Up next, we have some Halloween inspired stairs that look a bit decrepit but have some nice subtle metallic touches to them. To continue the spooky theme, here we see some rusted chain link fences that will be available soon. But it's not over yet, here are pieces from the Haunted House Building Kit. They definitely don't fail in giving off that kind of vibe either. That set would only be complemented by these boarded up windows and barren trees also expected to release. Fallout First members can expect this new tent skin in the form of an abandoned shack. And for our last few finds, we have what seems to be a water slide prefab, probably releasing real soon for the summer, a giddy up buttercup chair, a popcorn machine, new super mutant plushie, and a fire alarm wall decoration. And that wraps up this video on the latest future Atomic Shop items and more. Let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to that was recently data mined, though there wasn't too much this time around, or what you're still waiting to see released as every video. Personally, I want those Enclave Camp turrets. Hopefully the Brotherhood gets their own variant in the future. Shout out to the channel members, once again your support is highly appreciated when creating content. You know the deal, if you found this video to be enjoyable or informative in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already for more Fallout 76 content like this in the near future. And until next time guys, peace.